So they'll be calling you a radical. I was standing right here 20 years ago today when one of the most corrupt things in stock market history happened. I was the lead arbitrage specialist on the Palm 3Com spin-out. Eric Bartholomew was the CEO then on CNBC, the corruptest organization in history. The most corrupt IPO probably in history. You know, and Apple, without this happening, there would be no mega Apple run. When they sold the technology from Palm and destroyed it, 3Com did that. You know, and so that's when the market capitulated. That was March 10th, 2000. Dr. Cooley had just passed away. I'd been begged to take over this program, come home from Wall Street. I was the lead arbitrage specialist on the Palm 3Com spin out 20 years ago today. What's, you know, that's the way life works in these circles in this last day. So the dead cat bounce, the nuked to death cat bounce. Now remember, this is the water school business, which was number one in the country then for many years, number one. The water's curses, I call it. They're all dead. Everybody got cancer and freaking died. Dr. Cooley got mad cow and dropped dead right before that, right as we got the MBA program. This is the most corrupt university in the country, bar none. And oh, do I know. And I mean corrupt. The nuclear industry is the most corrupt industry in history. The nuke to death, dead cat bounce. So you can't tell me that none of you guys I guess, well, they've done such a good job at squashing me into the internet and hear no nuclear evil, see no nuclear evil, you know, son of Cassandra. That's me. <laughs> Floor construction two weeks ago was $21. It's seven. Soon to be probably zero. I, I mean, the whole nuclear economy, the individual stocks, this market going to come apart? Oh, 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 like you've never seen. This whole economy? Well, it's nothing but a bubble. I mean, it's been a 20 year from right then. That's exactly when I used to do the CPI, PPI when I was on Wall Street. My boss used to say, you have these numbers to a fine science before it even comes out. Yeah, I know how it works. I can gather data. I can process in my head. I can do the devil processing in my brain. Cooley died. You've got to take over this program. Please. Kyle Madsen died. Boy, they made a lot of promises to me and they didn't keep them. So. As you know, I call myself the 2002 Game 6 of the Western Conference Finals. And if you don't know what that is, that's the most corrupt sporting event in human history. Bar none. Bar none. Those who don't matter, oh, they matter. Ask Kobe Bryant. Ask David Stern. Hmm. So, the dead cat bounce right now. So they're playing every kind of game. They, they closed the market three times yesterday. I was always an anti-circuit breaker guy. I, I didn't like them. So they would have lost seven, 8,000 points yesterday. What that does, it gives them enough time to play games with your 401k okay, and bang it up, bang it out. You know, they can position themselves, which they did this morning, you know. Get the dead cap bounce, manipulated by the computers. And gold and silver is gonna crash, so they've inflated. So in 2020, or excuse me, in 2000, all through the 80s and 90s, the CPI and PPI, I never missed it. Never missed it once. And I remember my boss was like, oh my God, you got it wrong. I said, I didn't get it wrong. They're manipulating it. They moved it. I said, this is the first time in history Greenspan lowered when he should have been raising. You know, Eccles economist, Volcker used to speak here, Dr. Christensen, the Harvard guy's dead, the Wharton guy's all here. We used to take turns. I was one of the most famous professors in the world at the time. You know, I was a derivative arbitrage. I mean, deadly at what I did. I hedged portfolios when hedge funds were still bought derivatives to protect well. I protected the wealth on the Lung Association, lots of good, before they become historically corrupt. And so, that was in, 20 years ago today, started manipulating the interest rate. Now, typically we do that a maximum of 18 months. We call it inflate your way out. We know the byproduct is inflation. Remember when Volcker raised it at 18%? By the way, it's irony because they are the, this is who built the nuclear reactors of Fukushima, Japan. Now they're going to blame. Is she a Fukushima who no one even knows who she is? Why would they bring her here? To counter me. They blackballed me because my stance against G, they were sitting on 
the school business alone was sitting on fifty million dollars of G stock. When I'm, sick, I'm begging them to get out, I was on the committees. Dr. Class says, "Your top have to get out. This thing's over. You know, Jack Welch is playing all kinds of get out, get out." So the manipulate on the interest rate started clear back then. Who would have believed it went on for twenty years? The science fiction, economic, and Rand Greenspan. To, they've created that. It's obvious what it's going to create. I mean, the greatest inflationary bubble in world history, barna housing. Oh my God, cars. Look, I love the food one. The CPI. They changed the rules on how you count the CPI, PPI. They just took the food and they just made the container half the size and kept the price the same. It's 100% inflation. Vehicles up 300%. Housing up 400%. Stock market. Well, talk about a bubble. Everything bubbled. How about gold? It bubbled in 2011. How about silver? It bubbled at 50 in 2011. So the dead cat bounced, but the bigger event is nine years ago today. What? What's that? The nuclear meltdowns at Fukushima, Japan. <laughs> Run for the hills is all I got to say as far as your money. Where are you going to put it? Put it in cash, as I've said the whole time. Wait it out if you have any left. Scary stuff what's going on. Stay in tune.